Dozens of sign-waving suburbanites gathered in Central Park on Thursday. The group, made up of mostly students, want justice for George Floyd. George Floyd. Floyd is the black man who died while being arrested by a white Minneapolis police officer. The crowd marched and chanted their way to the community center. They took a knee and held a moment of silence to remember black people who've been killed by white police officers. I simply couldn't sit back and keep living my life knowing that such a heinous act took place in Minneapolis. Knowing they too could be George Floyd. We're dying. One in a hundred black men, their main cause of death is being killed by the police. Giving a voice to those who have been historically disenfranchised. I have a pedestal being white because I have white privilege, so I'm trying to use that to give people who have not had the opportunity to speak and be heard. The demonstrators call for an end to racial injustices in education and the criminal justice system. I'm a teacher because I want students to feel affirmed when they walk into my classroom and see somebody that looks like me. And I don't always think that that's the case as far as um, teachers go. Organizers say this is not the time for people in the suburbs to stay silent to what's going on around them. That was getting the attention. Now the world is watching us. So what are we going to do? Pull up. That's right. Pull up. Pull up for your people. Represent. Organizers say this isn't just a black issue, but it's a human rights issue. And they called on everybody to work together to make the world a better place for everyone. In Brooklyn Park, Sonia Goins, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.